how to screen for preeclampsia and fetal growth restriction in the first trimester scan that is 11 to 13 weeks 6 day scan during our nt scan along with screening for aneuploidy and assessing the structural defects we need to screen for the preeclampsia and the fetal growth restriction so let us understand how to screen for preeclampsia and fgr as we do not have our own data and guidelines, we are following the Fetal Medicine Foundation guidelines but with some changes. According to the FMF recommendations, we have to take into account maternal characteristics, mean arterial pressure, uterine artery Doppler and maternal biochemistry as markers to calculate the patient-specific risks for preeclampsia and FGR. With the help of maternal characteristics, MAP and uterine artery PI, the detection rate of preeclampsia is around 80-90% to 90%, while including maternal serum biochemistry increases the detection rate to 90-100%. to 100%. Under Samrakshan, screening for preeclampsia is a 5-step approach based on the FMF guidelines. We take maternal history, mean arterial pressure, uterine artery doppler and then calculate the patient specific risk for preeclampsia and FGR. And then the fifth step is to fill the online samrakshan forms so that we get our own India specific data. Maternal serum biochemistry tests are not included under samrakshan but if patient is affordable and tests are available, they are recommended. As a radiologist, you have to take only uterine artery PI, which takes not more than 50 seconds. Maternal characteristics, MAP, calculating the P and FGR risk can be done by your assistant or staff. Video for staff training is available at IRI Samrakshan site. In maternal characteristic and history, we need to ask mother's age, height, weight and racial origin. We need to know if it is an IVF or natural pregnancy. History of chronic hypertension, diabetes, SLE or antiphospholipid syndrome needs to be asked. History of preeclampsia in previous pregnancy or if the patient's mother had history of preeclampsia is also important while calculating the risk. Step 2 is to take the mean arterial blood pressure. We should follow certain guidelines to measure the MAP so that there will be uniformity in the measurements. For measuring MAP, we need two electronic spigmomanometers. An important thing while calculating the MAP is position of the pregnant lady. The woman should be in a comfortably seated position with her arm supported at the level of the heart. If the arms are not at the level of the heart, then MAP can be over or underestimated. Her legs should be uncrossed. She should be quiet for 5 minutes and then the blood pressure should be measured in both the arms simultaneously. We need to take two readings at 5 minutes interval. Measuring the uterine artery PI is the only task radiologists need to do in the first trimester PE and FGR screening. Uterine arteries can be assessed on the transabdominal or transvaginal scan, but transabdominal scan is preferred. With adequately filled bladder, we obtain the section of the uterus and identify the cervical canal and the internal os. The transducer is then gently tilted from side to side and color doppler is used to identify the uterine artery along the side of the cervix at the level of the internal os. For obtaining the pulse wave doppler, the sample gate should be 2 mm with an angle of insulation of less than 30 degree. Uterine artery is identified by its typical signature and a peak systolic velocity of more than 60 cm per second. PSV of less than 60 cm per second indicate that we are examining the arcuate artery rather than the uterine artery. Minimum 3 consecutive waveforms are obtained and then the PI is calculated automatically by the machine. We need to take PI from each side and then calculate the mean PI. A PI of more than 95th percentile is abnormal. Now, for the radiologist who are giving only uterine artery PI, remember that only 48% cases of preeclampsia and 40% cases of early FGR are detected if only uterine artery Doppler is used in the first trimester. Hence, to increase the detection rate, combined screening with maternal characteristics, MAP and uterine artery PI is must. In the next step, to calculate the PE and the FGR risk, you need to go to the FMF site, its homepage and then to the risk calculators. 
on the left side on the screen under the heading of prediction of risk we see many calculators we have to select the 11 to 14 weeks pre eclampsia calculator after opening this we need to input the data about maternal characteristics and history when we enter the systolic and the diastolic pressure of both arms the calculator automatically gives the mean arterial pressure similarly we have to enter the right and the left uterine artery pi and then the mean pi is automatically calculated for us now if the patient is not affordable and has not done the biochemical test we have to click no in the section of the biochemical markers finally after clicking on calculate risk button we get two risk for preterm preeclampsia one risk is from history alone and other is the combined risk from maternal characteristics map and the uterine artery pi also if the patient is high risk this calculator gives recommendation to start low dose aspirin 150 mg every night till 36 weeks in the similar way we have to calculate the fgr risk from the fmf calculator the cutoff used for preeclampsia by fmf is 1 in 100 but under subraction we are using the cutoff of 1 in 150 for both pe and fgr this means if the risk of the patient comes between 1 in 1 to 1 in 149 she is high risk and need to be started with low dose aspirin aspirin trial has shown that in screen positive lady 150 mg aspirin every night till 36 weeks reduces the risk of early onset preeclampsia by 80% and preterm preeclampsia by 60%. They have also shown that low dose aspirin in screen positive women is associated with significant reduction in FGR, severity of preeclampsia and PIH, preterm birth and it also delays the development of preeclampsia. Hence, Samrakshan recommends to start low dose aspirin in screen positive cases for preeclampsia as well as in FGR. Now if all radiologists start preeclampsia and FGR screening in all pregnant population we can save lives of 16 lakh mothers and fetuses Samrakshan and IRIA initiative appeal all radiologists to follow the five step approach and start the preeclampsia and the fetal growth restriction screening to reduce the perinatal mortality rate of India which is the main motto of Samrakshan thank you